Hello, good afternoon. This is the last panel of the day, so I hope you are still with energy. Um, well, the, 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 the topic of this panel is uh, what drives governments, governmental change, if I'm not wrong. And I wanted to share with you a story that took place in the government of Buenos Aires City, which is where I work. And uh, it's a story based on, on the development of a platform for uh, mapping all the public works projects in the city of Buenos Aires, a project that is, uses civic tech uh, resources, but eventually it had unexpected effects within the government, and that's the story I wanna, I wanna tell you today. Uh, I, I will go to the end of the story. I will show you how the platform that we, the, that we design looks like, and then I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you the story of, of the change. Can we put the video? Yeah. That's a map of Buenos Aires City. Every dot is a public works project. You can click on them and it opens you uh, more information with the progress of the public work, who's the contractor. Uh, well, that was faster than I thought, sorry. <laughs> you didn't have time to, don't worry. My, my team is very effective when, when it comes to time. <laughs> um, Well, so basically, I work for the, the area, I am in charge of open government and public innovation at the government of Buenos Aires City. Uh, I work for the mayor who was elected in 2015, and when he got to the office, when he got, got elected, one of the things he asked to all his cabinet uh, was that he, want, he wanted to be close to the citizens. He wanted to be close to the citizens, talk to them, get to know their problems, their view, uh, he claims that we are a smart government, not because we are smart at public officials, but we, we realize that intelligence is distributed within the society. It not always follows within the government, sometimes it's outside. So it's, uh, it's, it's very important to go and talk to citizens and get help from the citizens to solve public policy problems. Um, so this is what we call the proximity strategy. The proximity is uh, its value. Uh, the, the, the mayor meets three times a week with neighbors. We have estimated how, much, how many um, uh, neighbors uh, participate in this meeting within, you know, throughout the year. It's around 100,000 neighbors that have the opportunity to have direct dialogue either with, with the mayor or with the deputy mayor. Uh, so given this, this proximity uh, value, uh, and, and the area that I'm in charge of, open government and public innovation, I started working with different areas of government to promote, to identify projects that could help us uh, realize, uh, make, you know, take into practice these values, proximity, open government, public innovation. And therefore, I started talking to the Ministry of Urban Development and Transportation uh, on how to improve accountability uh, for our public works portfolio. Uh, the government of Buenos Aires invests 26% of its budget on infrastructure. That's an enormous amount of money for those of you who are familiar with, with budgets in cities. Um, and if you are not, it's extremely high. That means that we have lots of public works projects. And we thought that helping this ministry to identify tools and strategies to uh, to uh, be able to share all this project and all this information with the citizens would not only be positive in terms of, of transparency and accountability, but also uh, um, in, in, in terms of helping to enrich the communication with the citizens and find new ways to talk about public works uh, with, with the citizens. So we came up with this idea of having a map with all the communes within the city and have, you know, uh, graphic design that can help you, that can help us tell the citizens about our projects on our, you know, that are buildings, basically architecture projects, 
public space, infrastructure, transportation. Uh, so we identified 70 projects within that ministry, and we started working on this platform, uh, and we started working also with neighbors. We had meetings with neighbors, with watchdogs, uh, with civic tech organizations to give us feedback on this on on this platform. Um, so eventually, we 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 had a first draft of the platform that looks pretty much like that one. Um, and once we had these 70 projects, we noticed that you know this did not match at all the amount and the scope of projects, public works projects that we have in the city of Buenos Aires. We, we, we discovered that there was a lot of, uh, of density in terms of public works that could be added to the map, a lot of diversity in, type of the, 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 in terms of the type of public works. We don't not only have uh, urban development and transportation work, we have school infrastructure, hospitals, um, um, you know, new police stations. You know, we have different type of works that was missing from this map. Uh, and at the same time, we, we considered that we were not meeting a transparency standard. The issue of public works in Argentina and Latin America for the last decade and a half has, be, has been quite controversial. If you're familiar, if you're following the events in Argentina, in Brazil, in other countries in the region, uh, there are scandals of massive corruption. Uh, so we thought we could set up a new standard and use this platform to release, uh, or at least to Put, to make available to the citizens all the information, all the documents in terms of, of the contracting procedure, the contractor, the um, contractor, no, that's not the word, uh, the contracting mechanism and the contra contracting procedures um, that were used to uh, award all the public words. And so we decided to scale this to all the government um, we started working uh, with mid-level officials from different ministries. We asked them for information. We reached out to the Ministry of Security, uh, the Ministry of Justice, the Ministry of uh, Public Space, uh, the Ministry of Health, Education, asking them to give us all the information on public works that they had. Eventually, after two months, although we were not extremely successful, we managed to grow from 70 projects to 800 projects. Uh, and we moved from one ministry to 13 areas of government participating in this platform. Still, we didn't get all, we didn't get all the information we wanted. The format in which we received the information was quite heterogeneous. There were, there, there were ministries that tell the, you know, that, that, that describe the project in a very uh, concise manner, uh, very short, while others, uh, you know, give us two pages of, the, you know, a description for, for each project. Uh, so we were not satisfied with that. So we decided to take the project as it was with the new 800 projects that had incomplete information to a cabinet meeting so where the mayor and all the ministries were. And in, in this cabinet meeting, we had a very interesting effect. The, the, the tool, uh, I will try to show it at the end again, um, more slow. Um, the tool is very creative in terms of the, of the graphs and visualization uh, tools that we use. It's, it's very interactive. You can click on a particular neighborhood. You can choose a particular type of public works. Uh, we did it in, we, we, we did this platform together with a civic tech organization based in Buenos Aires. And all of a sudden, all the ministries became extremely interested in being part of that platform because they realized that it had an added value that when it made, at the time it was going to make public, there would be a lot of attention and media attention, you know, requests from other governments that want to use the same tool. So we had this kind of, or, or, of arm race phenomenon where all the ministry wanted to give us more and more information. Uh, and all, all of a sudden, uh, we had an, an, an unexpected uh, effect. Uh, we have all the ministries you know, pushing for have more space in this platform. Uh, we completely changed the way in which projects were described, or now 
projects are described because we set the new standard for describing projects in a manner that are, uh, that are uh, friendly to neighbors, to uh, the average uh, citizen. We, because of this platform, we ended up having an enhanced uh, management system for public work projects with more detailed information. Uh, now, uh, until this platform was launched, not all the ministries re released documents on the contracting mechanism and who got awarded the, the, the public work, the public works. Uh, now, all the ministries have to meet that new standard. Uh, and, and at the same time, we generated a community, a network within the government that is the, is the, 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 the pillar or the, the ecosystem that, that is the backbone of this project. We started as a project run by my undersecretary and the Ministry of Public Works. Now we have the chief of cabinet who is in charge of all the projects of the government and overseeing all the, all the, the progress of all the projects. We have the secretary of communications that is using the information that comes from this platform to, uh, the, to, to send information in a targeted manner through social networks uh, to citizens. We have the area that deals with the, with the communes of the city. We, the, the city of Buenos Aires is divided into 15 subsections. Each, of, each subsection has its own institutionality, its, its own authorities. So we are working with those authorities to send a specific information on the public works that are taking place in each of the, in each of the, um, the communes. And at the same time, this goes back to this beginning of the story, the mayor meets three times a week with citizens. We have, now we have special like stands with, uh, we call them totems, with a giant screen in every of these uh, meetings. And in this screen we have the platform and all the neighbors while they are, you know, as soon as they arrive, they start using the platform and they can see what public works are being undertaken in their neighborhood. And then they make questions to the mayor based on the information that they got through, the, through this uh, totem with the screen, as, as, as I told you. Um, and then I think as a final point, it, it, it helped us to establish a new way uh, to dialogue about, about public works with the citizens. Now we have all our, our public works are, are uh, geolocated. Uh, we have set a new standard for transparency and accountability. Every citizen can access to the information of who was, got awarded the contract, uh, what's the name of the company, what's the progress on the, on, on, on the, on the schedule, uh, how much money got paid, when is it expected to finish, to, to, to complete that, that public works. You, you may imagine, you know, we have 800 public works at the same time in the city. You know, I would say that a lot, you know, large sections of the city are probably, we have parks that are closed for re renovations, streets that are under renovation, uh, major highways that are being constructed. That causes troubles in terms of traffic, for example. Now we are able, with, with information that, that comes from this platform, we are able to better communicate to citizens what's going on in the city, where uh, all this information is, go, is, is um, being converted into the standard format for transportation information. I think it's called GTFS, if some, there's an expert here on that type of information. Well, that, so that, now, that information is now can be taken by Google, by Waze and other platforms and have their own system of alerts to citizens whereas when a street is going to be cut because where it will be, uh, the, 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 there will be renovations taking place uh, there. At the same time, all this platform is based on a data set that is open to the public. You just can click and download all the information on public works, which is generating a dialogue with civic tech organizations, with journalists and the media, of course, with uh, NGOs that focus on urban development, with uh, academics focusing on urbanism. Uh, so uh, we believe it has changed the way in which we, uh, we connect to citizens when it comes to public works. But as I said, as, as, as at the same time, it has completely changed within the government the way in which um, 
we operate in terms of public works. I will see if it works. As the name, BA stands for Buenos Aires. Obras means public works. And as here you can see the total investment we are doing in terms of public works, the amount of uh, where the little truck is, is the amount of projects that we have, the completion percentage, how many people are we employing. And you can see, you can look at the at the works using a map, and that's the city of Buenos Aires. Every color stands for a different type of public works. When you click, let's say, let's check here, for example. Um, this, these are ma uh, major transformational work that is being done in the city center of Buenos Aires. It tells you the execution rate. And then if you want more information, you can go here, it says, Mass information, and it will open you more information, all the contracting information, etc. And then, if you want, you can access information according to the, the neighborhood where you live, and it's the same information but distributed in a in a different manner. And also, you can you can organize them according to the levels of investment. This is already online. We're in the process of improving this platform. To we we uh, we design a participatory mechanism for improving the quality of the information that we are giving to the citizens. Sometimes, as public officials, we think this is the information they want, and when you meet with them, they tell you, you know, I'm not interested in who is the contractor. I prefer to know uh, when the, the the work is going to be completed. So, as part of the national action plan in, within the Open Government Partnership. We as a city, uh, we uploaded a commitment, a subnational commitment, which is to have this participatory mechanism to improve the platform. Thank you very much. <laughs>